Cool. Thank you. Very good. Right, your camera. So I'm on my way back from Pete's Emporium just scored a whole lot of parts that I need for uh, a video crane jib that I'm making. Sorry for the super shaky video, I'm actually driving. Um, yeah man, I love that place. It's, I scored parts that at a hardware store probably cost four or five bucks for a dollar, dollar fifty. Um, also bought some material for a new um, long t-shirt that I'm going to make. What do you call that? Long line? Something like that. Um, yeah, so also drips freaking freezing out here. She, the lady at the counter said that it was snowing there today and I think Pyra is pretty much sea level. So that's pretty cool. Hello. So today uh, it is freezing. We actually had snow in Wellington today and Wellington, if you look it up, is actually on the south coast of New Zealand. It's actually a coastal city, we have a harbour and we are pretty much at sea level, although some of our hills are basically mountains. Um, and today it was snowing um, in some places almost down to sea level. So pretty exciting day, and I got this material. Um, lycra cotton mix, quite dark, darker than it's turning up on that picture, and it only $8 a metre, so pretty stoked about that, and it's the full uh, 900 width size as well. Thought I'd show you guys a couple other bits and pieces I picked up today. I got, I'm working on a crane jib, and I bought a few pieces for that from the same store, which you'll probably see pop up real soon. Um, first thing I walked in, fingerless gloves, because it's uh, freezing. Then I got the material, then I went and had a look for a few bits and pieces. I was looking for one of these, a turnbuckle, which is what you use on the crane that I'm making with this stuff clothesline to uh, make one pulley work with another. The clothesline was only, let me see I've got the receipt right here, hmm it's not automized, yes it is, here it is. Clothesline was $2.30, the turnbuckle was $2.10, which actually should have been $2. Um, and then the bit that I've been looking for the longest is a good sturdy L bracket. Now this isn't quite square to my eye. Don't know if you guys can pick that up. But it's strong as. That's going to hold my DSLRs. It's going to hold my Micro Four Thirds system without a problem. There's actually a hole right there that lines up with that hole with the uh, tripod hole thinking about buying a quick release from Aliexpress for this however probably not actually I'll probably just put some foam on here uh, a wing nut for the back of the right perch uh, and just bolt it directly to that and that way that gives you the pitch and oar Okay, so, oh, and I also got a 8-pack of super glue for $2.10, and, yeah, grand total for the material, the turnbuckle, the bracket, the super glue, and my gloves was only $24. Now, it probably cost me $5 gas, maybe slightly more because gas is ridiculously expensive in New Zealand. Another exciting thing to up, this is my one of my favourite Micro Four Thirds cameras, although it doesn't do two things I really wish it did. doesn't have image stabilisation. And the pop-up flash, which I love, you can't reduce the power on it. Two major oversights, well, 
Image stabilization, I understand Panasonic doesn't do that in body. But the not being able to reduce the flash power, I just don't understand that. But anyway, went into my letterbox today and this had arrived. Let's pop it open. Cutty cutty. little mini unboxing from Aliexpress I'll put the link in the description it's actually a lens hood for this lens which is my favorite micro four thirds lens people will hate on this lens it's a 17 mil 2.8 pancake lens as you can tell it's tiny one problem it does have in low light um, I do quite a bit of car, like uh, vehicle photography, as you may have seen. Major flare. But it's a cool little lens hood. And, believe it or not, it's metal. Adds about a centimetre and a half to the overall depth of the body and lens combination. So... For my portraiture stuff, I probably won't use it, but when I'm out filming stuff with like lights and flare and that, um, I probably will. AliExpress, I think it was only two dollars fifty or three dollars US, including shipping, so that's a bargain. It takes a while to get to New Zealand, nearly a month usually, but totally worth it. Uh, I also went to the dump shop today, I try to go every day and I picked up a couple of things that I wasn't expecting to pick up. A SATA drive, this is a 80 gig SATA drive, I'm building a XPPC with as much drives, as many drives in it as I can get. Uh, my, ga my goal is for sort of under $100 to build um, a PC with as much storage as I can possibly cram into it um, at a budget because now that I'm shooting more uh, valuable, uh, in my opinion, valuable images, I'm super nervous about losing them. Um, I back up to two hard drives and then I wipe them off my SD cards. So that's probably enough in itself, but I like the idea of having a third machine that's just full of drives um, with everything just backed up on it. I'm not going to put anything on it other than my images and, and videos. So that's interesting. Five bucks. Western Digital. And in reflection, I probably shouldn't have bought this little hard case but actually let's see you can see it flexing it ain't that hard um, foam in the top which I like a lot of hard cases that I tend to find don't have foam in the top and it's probably the reason I bought it is twofold I want a little case that I can grab and go when I just go out uh, in my car. I don't like soft cases for the the access accessibility, but I don't like just taking them by myself, you know, just um, without any protection. Reason being, I have to slam on my brakes, or you know, heaven forbid, I'm in a car crash. Um, I don't want the compounding problem of my gear getting ruined, but also probably more importantly, it flying around and hitting myself or smashing windows or whatever the case may be. So I'm looking, I've got a, a, a hard case, a proper hard case that I've been um, working on for a few months, which has held all my Micro Four Thirds system. And I'm really happy with it. But I don't want to take that out when I go out uh, in my car, just if I'm just going out for the night. 
normally I just need one or two bodies uh, and maybe three lenses at a stretch um, maybe a few accessories so I think actually this could be perfect two reasons I'm not so into it the colors not reproducing quite perfectly on this but it's actually kind of a girly purple color which I don't care too much about but you know it is a consideration I can't lie it's not my favorite color I'd prefer it with black or silver um, so it's not a big deal, but you know, it's something that stops it being perfect. And also, believe it or not, it's too deep. So, Micro Four Thirds camera takes up half, literally half. So, not sure what I'll do with it. My other thought when I was thinking about that, because I actually thought about all this while I was in the dump shop, is to actually turn it into just maybe a legacy lens storage. Just put foam around the outsides, maybe a few departments, and just keep all my lenses that I don't use regularly in there. Might end up with that, I think. Anyway, I've shot some footage um, of my journey today, which I'll be stitching in. I uh, probably don't need to introduce that because it's either already stitched in or about to be um but yeah this will be my part of this will be my second vlog of the my new vlog series um thank you for watching if you have any questions let me know if you like this let me know if you don't like this let me know if you think i say um too much let me know if you think i lisp funny I do. If you like my beard, good. If you're wondering what these are, you might have seen a few in the background. I'll cover that in another video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.